So earlier today, it was announced that Hunter Renfro signed with the Boston Red Sox on a one-year, $3.1 million deal with 600000 in incentives. Renfro, who will be 29 by opening day, became a free agent this offseason after the Tampa Bay Rays decided to non-tender him. The decision to non-tender him was not greatly surprising as he had a disastrous season in 2020 and he was projected $4 million, which was too rich for the money-saving raise. In 2020, Renfro had a very bad slash line of 156, 252, and 393 with only 8 homers and 139 plate appearances. However, in four seasons with the San Diego Padres, Renfro had a slash line of 235, 294, 494 with 89 home runs. Renfro has established himself as a power hitter who puts a very solid defense and is a reliable bat, and he is greatly successful against left-handed pitching. The Rays were able to acquire Renfro from the Padres in exchange for Tommy Pham and Jay Cronenworth. While this looks like a lopsided trade for the Padres who got a solid hitter in Pham and Rookie of the Year runner-up in Jay Cronenworth, the jewel of the trade for the Rays is that they acquired Xavier Edwards who is the number 67 overall prospect in baseball. Now this could be a very successful signing for the Red Sox as they get a very solid player who can mash for only $3 million. Renfro could be great as he'll become a common enemy to the Green Monster. Renfro has also put up very solid defense over the past three years as he's gotten 23 defensive runs saved. He's also racked up five outs above average during his time, making him an extremely solid outfielder. Renfro will now join the Red Sox outfield that consists of Alex Verdugo and Andrew Benintendi as they try to contend for a playoff run. In other news today, it was announced that the Kansas City Royals have re-signed Greg Holland to a one-year, $2.75 million deal that includes $1.5 million in incentives. Holland put up a great rebound season in 2020, pitching to a 1.9 earned run average and 2.52 FIP. This came in 28 innings from Holland. In 2018 and 2019, Holland had a 15% walk rate, but sliced it down to 6.3% in 2020. Even though he did not have great velocity, he still got batters to whiff on 13.1% of his pitches. This continues a very active offseason for the Royals, who have already signed veterans Mike Miner and Carlos Santana. Holland is a nice signing as he can provide veteran stability in the bullpen, and if he does not do well and the Royals are not contending, they could always trade him at the trade deadline for possibly the return the Royals got for trading Trevor Rosenfall last offseason. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please comment and tell me your thoughts on the signing on the comments section below. And as always, please like and subscribe as I'll be making more baseball related content just like this in the future. Thanks.